would have gone down with Elizabeth Hassan's East of the last sitting in this chair. It's always down with us. First on the minutes for the August 22nd meeting, do I have a motion to approve those? Any? Second by Peter. Uh, all in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? All right. Item number one. Authorizing a lease agreement for the rental of corporate suite number 25 at the Time Chain Center. Mr. Belver, welcome. Yep. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, this is a renewal from um, the prior lease that we had on this suite, same corporate suite holders as what we've had in the past. Uh, and this is one of the several suites <coughs> that are coming up for renewal, and uh, we ask that it be renewed. All right. Uh, any questions from the committee? Any questions outside the committee? All right. Is there a motion? Mr. Hogan, second. Mr. Staney, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Item number two, authorize an agreement with Coughlin Electrical Contractors, Inc. regarding the fire alarm system replacement project at the Town Meeting Center. Yes, this is part of the 2016-2017 capital plan, requesting to accept a bid for Coughlin for $1,029,207. This will replace the uh, system that's antiquated over there. We can't get parts for it anymore. And this will also incorporate the uh, fire alarm system for the new atrium area. They were the lowest responsive bidder. How old is the well, they were, actually, I'm sorry, they weren't the lowest response. They, they were the lowest responsive bidder. They weren't the lowest bidder. The lowest bidder pulled out. They forgot to put some stuff in there. Okay. How long has the current system been there? Uh, it's uh, from 25 years. It's the original system. Since the start? Yes. Wow. So it might be time. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just yeah. to clarify one point, there is a minor error that they put in the documents. That yes, there was uh, in the bid document that they submitted. Where they wrote in, uh, they wrote in nine hundred uh, nine hundred twenty nine thousand seven dollars, which it really should have written, uh, been written nine twenty nine two oh seven. It was a two hundred dollars. It was just a clerical error on their part, but it was included in their bid. And it's been clarified with them. Yes, I got an email from them today that it, that's it's been clarified. All right. Uh, any questions from the committee? Inside the committee. All right. Is there a motion? Second. Mr. Hogan, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Thank you. That was cool. you. <laughs> Item number three, authorize an agreement with Owens Realty Services regarding janitorial and cleaning services at the Time Union Center. Yeah, this Owens, is, this, back. Thank you. Uh, this is a uh, bid for cleaning services of the Times Union Center. Uh, this is the lowest responsible bidder. Uh, based on um, services that would be needed and a comparison of the three three lowest bids um, checking checking on Owens uh, references and background uh, they've got um, a plus ratings from everybody that they've cleaned uh, including similar arenas and other facilities um, the difference uh, on the Two lowest bids, uh, this being $519,717 uh, versus $679,965, which was the current incumbent. Um, and I have to say, uh, after 25 years of cleaning the building, executive cleaning uh, has done a good job to this point. Um, but uh, bid process as it is and procurement as it is, uh, we have to recommend the lowest responsible bidder, which is Owens. A couple of quick questions on that. Um, was Executive was a union shop, was it? Uh, they, they paid prevailing wage. I, okay. I believe they did use union labor in some cases. Has Owens made that kind of a commitment? Uh, it's part of the bid process. Okay. It's, it's included. Which part, prevailing wage or union labor? Uh, prevailing wage. Okay. But not necessarily union labor? Uh, no, but I believe that the majority of the workers that are in that profession in this area are, are union members. Okay. Now, in terms of the timing, so I think it's said this starts uh, October 1st, obviously, retro, if and when we pass at the next full meeting. Yeah. Um, I know we talked a little bit about this before in terms of clarifying what they cover, whether it's the walkway or the atrium. So is it everything at this point? So at this point, the walkway is closed. Uh, and therefore they're cleaning the arena uh, they're cleaning half of the atrium and um, once the construction uh, the way the construction is being done it's being done in phases so that half of the atrium is being done first once that's completed that'll open up and then the other half will be done um, 
but the way that the bid scope was put together, uh, it was done so in a way so that um, as the construction gets done, the additional work that's um, going to be done would then also be commensurate with additional um, fees that would be charged. So um, regardless of the fact of the <coughs> construction not being done and not covering all of the areas, um, all three bidders had the same opportunity to bid on the scope the way that it was written. I guess the question is, we're not including the walkway now, obviously, during the construction. That's correct. Is that accounted for in the bidding, since obviously the job is a little bit less now? And, and two, <coughs> and how long is the term of the contract? So, uh, well, if you don't mind, let me answer the first question yeah, sure. first. So the first question, the, the walkway cleaning uh, is, is done by executive cleaning, but it's charged separately uh, to the building, and uh, they are no longer charging for that service, since they're not providing the service. Uh, the current contract ends on Friday, on the 30th. Right. Um, the county county attorney has drafted a one-month contract for executive cleaning uh, in hopes that uh, they would accept extending for one more month and uh, therefore allowing for a transition for the other company to be able to get in, have enough employees, have the equipment put in place. Uh, we're hoping that that gets resolved and hopefully signed sometime this week. Okay. Is that so? What's, what's the rush on the contract? <coughs> They're not ready to come in. Executive are going to give a holdover. And also, since the scope of the job is kind of changing, its construction changes. Well, the, the scope of the document actually had in it uh, uh, provisions that um, uh, allows for that flexibility. And according to the legal opinion that we received from the county attorney, he did not feel that um, it, there was a sufficient reason not to award given the fact that um, all three bidders understood that it wasn't going to be completed until a, roughly a year into the three-year contract to begin with. <coughs> um, so therefore, um, you, even though some of the work won't be done until a year from now, um, the county attorney's feeling was that um, the charges wouldn't be charged either because the work isn't being done on those areas. There wouldn't be charges. Um, and I understand his reasoning behind that. I think from a legal standpoint, it probably would put the county in jeopardy uh, if they didn't award. Okay. All right. I think you answered one of my questions. Any questions from the committee? Uh, outside the committee? All right. Um, anybody care to make a motion? Be any second, Mr. Hogan. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. And finally, our favorite part of the meeting, income statements. Uh, unfortunately, this is not my favorite part of the meeting on this particular month. Um, well, it's summer, right? Well, it's summer. We, we had a, a cancellation of ZZ Top and Greg Allman. Right. Greg Allman actually canceled all of his dates uh, because of an illness, and, uh, uh, and we're sorry to hear that on his part, uh, but certainly that has a real negative impact on our budget when we don't have a major concert like that, uh, especially in a time period where we weren't planning to have a lot of concerts in the month of August. So we are down as a result of that for the month. Um, we do have good news is we have another show that's just recently been added as of today in November, which hopefully will make up for that. And then there's a, another show that we've just recently added as well, uh, which will be a Christian concert in December. So I think that we'll get back to where we need to be, uh, and we're pushing hard to make sure of that. I think your point was well made last month that the industry is not looking favorably on indoor summer concerts lately. It makes it difficult. That's abundantly clear. There, there seems to be a lot more going outdoors, and it's not really that we're not really competing with Saratoga, it, you know, because the shows that are going outdoors, they're doing amphitheaters across the entire country. So it's not it's not a matter of them doing indoor shows in certain markets and outdoor shows in others. It's usually outdoors <coughs> or it's all indoors. Right. Now next year, actually in '17, uh, and you might have remembered seeing this in 2014, we had a run of. Justin Timberlake and Bruno Mars and Paul McCartney and a whole bunch of shows that just came indoors in 2014. What I'm seeing now on our calendar for 17 is very similar. There's a lot of great shows coming in 17. Um, I think we've got more shows on the books right now for 17 than we had for the whole year of 16. So it's looking great for next year. Right. And the, uh, the capital plan did not have a retractable roof. <laughs> no. <laughs> Latina just passed out. Uh, let me ask you one more question. Uh, just my, my, one of my 
favorite topics. How are the Devils looking for the season ahead? How are the season tickets looking? <coughs> it looks like there's been more outreach from the team this year than there has been in the past. Yeah, I have to, I have to uh, say nothing but great things about the current uh, management. It's not, nothing negative about the prior management, but uh, the Devils that are owned by New Jersey um, have a new uh, <coughs> management team that, that's in place, and they actually they are back and forth. They handle some activities down in Jersey and, and some here for both the NHL and the AHL club. But uh, their season tickets are up from last year. Their um, group sales are up from last year. Uh, and they're expecting to get closer, if not surpass, 4,000 per game on an average, which is great. And, you know, I'd like to see them back up to the 6,000 that they once were. Um, so that relationship is really good. Um, and, and one thing I'll, I'll share with you all, um, which relates to that relationship, is um, we may not get it, but the 2017 NCAA basketball first and second rounds that um, was in Charlotte and got pulled out of Charlotte because of the discrimination right. issue, right. Um, we are submitting a bid. They put out a bid for all of their championships that they took out of Carolina, and we, we submitted a bid for that. Um, in order to submit the bid, we had to actually ask the Devils if they would move a game that was on a prime Saturday night. Mm -hmm. They agreed to do that and actually would move from March to a Tuesday in December. And yet they were willing to do it to try to help us. Um, similarly, we have a concert that's currently booked on March 16th, which is one of the days the NCAA needs a Christian concert. And um, they are willing to go a day earlier, uh, even though they've announced it and they're going on sale with it. Uh, so the help that we've gotten to open the dates to be able to submit a bid for the NCAA has, has been terrific. Um, doesn't mean we're going to get it. There's probably 100 cities that are trying to get this huge event. But um, we have a lot of supporters out there. And, and uh, I want to thank uh, Senator Schumer, who also has lobbied for us or uh, put in a call to the president of the NCA. Um, so with a little bit of luck and uh, so forth, hopefully we get this. And even though we're halfway under construction, I think we have a great plan for egress to get people in and out. We'll probably, if we get it, brand the entire construction zone with NCAA branding, and uh, and then hope that they'll also give it to us at some point between 2018 to 21, where we submitted a bid for those years, and we'll hear on that by the first week of December. Excellent. And good news about the Devils, I've said before, mm -hmm. that's the last major professional sports franchise in Albany County. It's we've had such a great history of minor league sports here. It's particularly important to keep that successful. Especially, right on top of that. especially when you can't count always on concerts being in every month. Right. And so you, you can count on 38 games a year from the Devils. You can count on Siena with their games. So those two anchors are the two that we have to schedule around. Excellent. Uh, any questions from the committee? Any income questions? All right. Mr. Belber, thank you. Uh, thank so you. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Hey, Bob. Yep. With the cancellation of Greg Lowe, does that mean you can stop? Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Yeah. All right. Meeting closed.